For decades, the Hippodrome Theater has brought Broadway to Baltimore, and the opening of The Wiz ushers in the new season of shows. Coming out of the pandemic, the demand for this type of entertainment is high. Ron Legler's joining us. Good to see you, man. How are you? Good to see you as well. I got to tell you, so the last time I saw you, you were preparing to get out of the pandemic, and you've done all right since yes, then. Yes, we have been going ever since that moment. We basically put two seasons into about 18 months. Yeah, I mean, you've done a live show, you've had some Broadway, Chris you've Rock, had some bands. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a whirlwind, but uh, we're really excited coming up. Um, you know, last year we got a theatrical tax credit passed in the state of Maryland, okay. which um, is going to bring so much energy to Maryland itself. Um, you know, for two years, our union people didn't get to work. So we're going to add probably 10 to 12 weeks of work each year um, so that uh, we can bring National Touring Broadway. We'll start here in, in Maryland and in Baltimore and then go out on the road or go directly to Broadway. Did you feel like your consumers, your theater goers, were ready to come back? I mean, were they knocking down the door when you opened oh up the box Oh my gosh, it was really funny because we did these little videos and we showed the seats and literally people were like, there's my seat, I can see it, you know? So it was a, it was a long time. but. You know, there's something wonderful about the Hippodrome. It's been around for 110 years. That's 11 generations wow. of uh, Baltimoreans. So we wanted to come back and, and they've come back in droves. So we're, we're really, really happy. Sure. And you can stream all you want. You can, you can sit in the living room all there's you want, but there's no comparison. There's yeah? nothing like live theater. It's transformational. When you can share that moment with, uh, you know, your community, I don't think there's anything more powerful. And don't we all need to be more community no focused doubt. right now? For a lot of people, for that first experience for them, it was the whiz, and it was decades ago. Uh, and now you get a chance to be the one to bring it back. And I'm guessing that's a heck of a feeling. Imagine, 50 years ago, it opened in the Morse Mechanic and then went right to Broadway and had a wonderful run there. But I'm just so excited because this is a, a newly conceived production. Um, it's gonna bring so much energy and force back to Baltimore. Um, and to have all those creative people in our city for a month, living, working, playing, eating at Lexington Market, staying at the hotels, you know, enjoying Maryland, um, I, I couldn't be more excited. And Baltimore used to be a good launch city for yeah. Broadway. It hasn't done it in years and years. So it's really exciting that we can bring that kind of energy back to our city and to have our audiences actually see shows before they get a chance to see them on Broadway. Yeah, and there'll be people here, no doubt, who would have been young people then oh. who now have brought their family back to, to see that's, it. And that's a joy. It is literally building new audiences. Um, and, you know, everyone wants to see themselves on stage and we need to represent every story that we can. So this is just a perfect win-win for Baltimore. And to have the Wiz return home to Maryland yeah is really special for us. This is a huge production, and they have their own set design, and I hear that it looks out of this well, world. Well, not only that, but they're also getting ready for the, for, to go to Broadway, so they yeah. have a cast of people that are gonna be doing the national tour with stars there, and then have stars going to Broadway. So I, I think this is gonna be the hit of next year's season for sure. I love it. All right, we'll sell the rest of the season for the folks who are watching us. What can they expect to see out of the Hippodrome as we make our way through 2023? Oh my gosh, there's so many great shows. <laughs> Moulin Rouge is a spectacular show. Just so beautiful and so large, especially in our small theater. It's going to be, it's going to overwhelm you the set. But um, that's definitely one of the highlights. We've got a great show called Clue that's going to be super fun. Oh, nice. We are so sold on subscription. We're we're doing so well. We only lost one percent of our subscription base. One percent. That's it. It was. I mean, Baltimore loves the Hippodrome, and we love our audiences. So. I love it. Um, you know, just there's so many great things coming and we really try to give something for everybody and make a very diverse season. But Mrs. Doubtfire, the shows that you know and you'll love. And we wanted to bring back like Mamma Mia, something that makes you feel comfortable. Uh, Book of Mormon is always a huge hit here in Baltimore. It always ranks in the top shows that people want to see. Yeah. So we've got a lot of really, really wonderful stuff coming. For now, we're just easing down the road. We're ready we for the easing down <laughs> And we're bringing the Wiz home. I and that, that, uh, that makes us feel so good. Great. Well, good to see you, man. So good, good to see you to as you. well. Appreciate you. you. Yep. That's all for this edition of 11 TV Hill. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.